Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I designed this three-dimensional flower pot tumbler sleeve. Of course, this 3D tumbler sleeve is from Dimensional Drinks. And although you can use any of the plumps from Tipsy Magnolia, which is the 16 ounce, 24 ounce, and 32 for this sleeve in particular, the 16 ounce plump from Tipsy Magnolia fits this one perfect. I also have one of the handles from Dimensional Drinks as well and we're going to pop this onto the sleeve so we can hold on to this tumbler a little bit better. I'm using Turbo from a little extra ink epoxy and I just put a couple little dots underneath the bottom of that handle and taped it in place so it's not going to move around and we can go ahead and attach our sleeve as well. I'm just going to give this tumbler a good coat of epoxy. I have a silicone mat underneath my sleeve and tumbler. Once I slide this in, I'm going to leave it straight up on the silicone mat so it dries nice and flat and my bottom is not going to be wobbly and it will be flush with our sleeve. Once that was completely dry, I removed the tape and gave this a coat of wine stain from my color shot. I was working on some other tumblers and I had some leftover epoxy that had been sitting in this cup for a little bit. So it has set up a little bit, but it was still good enough to give a really thin coat all around our flower pot. We're going to ombre Empire State and Mulberry from PDB Creative Studio. These two glitters are literally perfect together. They are similar in color, however, they have different flakes of glitter in each. Empire State has lots of gold glitter in it, which I wanted on the bottom side of our flower pot just to give a little more depth and dimension and it just added a little bit of extra pop of color to the bottom side of this and helped blend in or match our florals that we use really well. I'm going to go heavy around the bottom side, tilt my tumbler up so that glitter falls down towards the top of the tumbler. I just very lightly sprinkled that glitter on our handle so I had a little bit more control around it. And then we're going to go in with Mulberry heavy around the top and then just kind of let it rip all around the tumbler. As long as you have that first color, a really good ombre going up towards the top, then your second color is just going to be a piece of cake. You can cover the whole tumbler and it's going to fall right into place. After this dries, I'm going to give it two coats of epoxy, sanding in between those layers so it is smooth enough to add on our decals. Now, there's lots of curved surfaces on this tumbler, so it did require me to sand a little bit more after that second coat of epoxy, but that's okay. We're not adding on anything we're going to have to spray seal. We're just going to add on our textured Tech Wrap Craft Metallic Rose gold. I really wanted to do a peekaboo on this tumbler, but I knew it would be difficult to get those corners and crevices really smooth to do a spray paint over top without doing multiple coats of epoxy. So I decided to do sort of like a fox peekaboo. We're going in with the glitter, of course, you epoxy, and then this textured vinyl 
really adds some dimension and almost the illusion that you did a nice peekaboo. I have used these florals a lot in my tutorials. I will have it linked down below, but I didn't show how I resized them. I just sort of rough measured the tumbler, created a template that was just a flat rectangle in design space, and then laid them out just so I know how many I need. And I did throw in an extra just in case I was off a little bit. Tech Wrap Craft is my absolute favorite vinyl company. <laughs> I have ranted and raved of their vinyl for the past couple of years, and it's the only vinyl that I want to use on my tumblers. There are some times that I have to grab others, and I always get frustrated because it just doesn't weed the same as Tech Wrap Craft. It don't cut the same. And because it cuts so well, and it pulls off of that backing so smooth, it's easy just to pop up the corners like of some of the elements in these florals that would typically take you a long time to weed you can just pop up those corners and pull the entire decal off leaving the majority of those negative pieces behind on that sheet so if you haven't caught me doing this in my past tutorials and you are using some of these florals, hopefully that helps you and saves you from 45 minutes of weeding a full sheet of these. I did decide to leave that top ring blank and just wanted to decorate the, the bottom portion of our flower pot. So I am trimming off the excess right in that crease from the solid piece of the bottom and that rink around the top and I'll trim off any excess around the bottom of the tumbler. I'm just going to apply a good generous coat of epoxy on top of these decals. Definitely make sure they're pressed down really, really well. And then you can go in with your epoxy. Normally I don't show applying epoxy midway through my tutorials, but this was such a good glow up that I wanted to show you. I used a little extras turbo for this coat and that took about two and a half hours to dry to where I could handle it. So once that was dry, I went in with my decals. This is a floral element sheet from my Western bundle with Gracefully Created. These are individually released on their website uh, and they are so 
beautiful. This was one of my favorite bundles that I have done with Gracefully Created. And I'm just going to trim them out and place them all around the tumbler using the hinge method and try to avoid touching the clear portion of the decal so we don't have any fingerprints show up. You won't have that issue on lighter glitter or lighter tumblers, but if you are using a dark glitter underneath, if you have a fingerprint on the back of the clear side of your decal, it's definitely going to show. So at all costs, try to avoid touching the clear portion of your decal. If you do, that's totally fine. Just take your craft knife and trim out around your decal and remove that portion with a fingerprint. Now, I did have a decal in mind to place onto this tumbler. Obviously, this is how we're leaving it here. However, I wanted to show you how I benefited from Creative Fabrica, although we did not end up using a decal on this one. I searched Creative Fabrica for what felt like eternity <laughs> and saved so many decals or images. All you have to do is click the little heart underneath the images that you like or the files that you want to save and it saves them to your favorites so they're easy to find and you can go back and grab them quickly. I went through three different files, three different decals on this tumbler and one of them I trimmed in two different vinyls at different times. <laughs> so I tried to put a decal on this specific tumbler four times. If I had used other sources where you have to pay for each individual decal, roughly I would say three to five dollars a piece, 
you're looking at 12 to 20 bucks that I would have wasted elsewhere if I did not have my Creative Fabrica subscription, which is nine bucks a month, y'all. I have a link if you do not have Creative Fabrica or if you wanted to upgrade your subscription and get a better deal, you can follow the link that I have down below and it is free for one month or your first 10 files, whatever comes first. And after that, it renews at nine bucks a month, which is way cheaper than what I would have spent <laughs> during my trial and error of decals. I know I talk about Creative Fabrica a lot, probably a couple of times a month. I do have dedicated tutorials for Creative Fabrica because I know how much it has saved me as a crafter. I even get my fonts and Lightroom presets off of Creative Fabrica as well for my decals that I make myself and photographing if I need a nice light and airy filter for some of my pictures. So in Creative Fabrica, I just clicked that green download button and downloaded that file to my computer. I imported that into Design Space. I only made this 3.25 inches rather than my standard three and a half inch decals because I knew I was gonna have a little bit smaller of a workspace. I'm of course right here using the textured metallic rose gold and the bubble free green from Tech Wrap Craft, and I am going to skip forward here just a little bit since we don't end up using these decals, but I am going to show you both versions, how they looked on the tumbler, and how I layer my offsets. A little tip, if you have wording like this that might be thin in some areas, highlight your image and then add a 0 .01, yes, a 0 .01, which seems like nothing, but add that offset on to your main decal, highlight both of them and weld it together and it will thicken it up just enough to cut perfect. So after placing this decal on, although those two final colors were a perfect match to the decals, they matched too well and didn't really show up enough. So I grabbed my jumbo pack of TechRap Craft vinyl. This pack has a ton of colors in it, so it's really easy just to grab it and match whatever I'm working on. And one of their newest white colorful glitter diamond vinyls. I still went with the darker moss green matte vinyl and layered the white on top and I'm trying out their transfer tape. I really, really liked the transfer tape because it has the grid lines on here. It's super thin so I can only imagine how well it would work on a full wrap on a tumbler since it's not thicker and it's not going to bunch up on you as you're trying to work your way around those curves. So definitely loved the new transfer tape. For the matte vinyl, since it's thinner, I did cut that on the regular vinyl setting. And then for our glitter vinyl, I used the iron on plus setting. So it gets that deep cut since it is a little bit of a thicker vinyl.
this final combination was so pretty and I, I hate that I did not like it on the tumbler. I don't know if I just couldn't get my color combination to match the tumbler just right or if maybe I needed something a little more elegant as far as font and wording goes to make it look really nice on here. I did actually cut out one of the little scully decals as well and attempted to use that one on this but I ended up using that on a different tumbler that you will see in another tutorial. This last decal, actually seeing it on camera, didn't look too bad. I think in the end, maybe I just didn't want to cover up these florals because I liked it as is. But you know what? Even though I did spend a lot of time trying to get the perfect combination of vinyl or decal for this, there was no money wasted and that saves a little bit of frustration on my part. So we're just going to give this two final coats of epoxy with a little extra incorporated regular formula to give it that extra shine for days, y'all. Look at how beautiful that shine is. Normally I have to run to the shade to take pictures and videos of my tumblers because the sun just does something to the epoxy to take the shine away, but not a little extra. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love this tumbler sleeve. Everything just come together so nicely and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. If you have any questions, of course you can drop them in the comments below and I will answer them as quickly as possible. All materials I have used along with some dic discount codes will be in the description below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out and helps us reach a new audience so they can learn as well. Thank you all so very much and we will see you next time.